Ali Baldwin is not the only Hollywood star taking a comedic stab at the Trump presidency. Emmy award-winning actress Melissa McCarthy has joined the SNL administration as White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer. In case you missed it, here is just one clip. Before we begin, I know that myself on behalf of you to me for how you have treated me these last two weeks. And that apology is not accepted. Because I'm not here to be your buddy. I'm here to swallow gum and I'm here to take Nate. Yeah, all right, you guys. You guys still aren't, aren't getting it. Uh, what do you need? You need some props? My word's too big. I got to show you in pictures. Great. Okay, here we go. When it comes to these decisions, the Constitution gives our president lots of power. And Steve Bannon is the key advisor. <laughs> Uh, uh, hi guys. Hello. Hi. Paul Mercurio, Emmy Award winning comedian, Julie, Judy Go, comedian and Emmy Award winning writer, producer. Um, great to have both of you on. Yeah, oh, thanks for nice having me. Let's just talk about, you know, that. Yeah. Melissa McCarthy. I got the skinny. Let me pull up. Hang on. Colin Jost, you may be watching. He told me, I don't think he'll mind telling me telling everyone, it was Colin Jost, one of the head writers, and Kent Sublette who I guess they had been wanting to do a Sean sketch. Yeah. And I guess Kent knew Melissa, and they floated the idea to Melissa, and she killed? Yeah, Brilliant. Oh, absolutely. She was great. And I, I, I didn't see it coming. I mean, you, you expected somebody to do Sean Spicer because he's been so, you know, front and center. And so confrontational, and I'm surprised that they got upset about it because, like, that's the relationship with the press Boy. that they wanted. They call them the opposing party. If the press and the Trump administration went on Jerry Springer, they say, no, we don't want you. It's too confrontational, even for Jerry Springer. So I don't know why they'd be getting upset about it. I don't know how we're, we'll but wait, Sean, reaction. I read that Sean laughed. He you know, did. That Actually, we have, we have oh, some of okay. his reaction. Unfortunately, there hasn't been a White House daily briefing today. I know. But he did talk to Extra, yeah. and this is what he said. I think uh, Melissa McCarthy needs to slow down on the gum chewing. You know, it's like, <laughs> way too many pieces in there. And what about Alec and his betrayal? Uh, I, I think, you know, he's he's gone from funny to mean, and uh, and that's unfortunate. Saturday Night Live used to be really funny, and I think there's a, a, a streak of meanness now that uh, that they've kind of crossed over into. Go ahead, Judy. You were, you were, so you're kind of right. I thought he thought it was sort of fun. Yeah, he. I think he thought it was fun. Look, Donald Trump has, no, they have no sense of humor about themselves. They take themselves so seriously. Who's the they here? Seriously. The administration? The, yeah, yeah. Yes, the, the, the Trump, you know, the Bannon, the Trump, I mean, we haven't done a Bannon yet, but, well, we kind of had the well, Darth Vader, yeah. but, you know, Trump takes himself so seriously, and it's such a turnoff. You know, we talked about this last time, like, being on, parodied on SNL is like a rite of passage. Right. You're, you know, it's like, oh my God, they, totally. they're writing about me. I'm in the zeitgeist. I am important, you know? And it's hilarious. But yeah. the, it's they, they just, he, he cannot take a joke. He doesn't even know where the joke is. And the truth is funny. Unfortunately, you can say that's mean. You know, like he was saying, it's mean. It's gotten mean. It's truthful. But I mean, and, 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 and you know, the, it's funny that they bring up mean because his whole campaign, Trump campaign, was we're not going to be PC anymore. And I, I can read his tweets right now. We all know how mean they've been. And then suddenly, you got to actually, Spicer said she could have dialed it back a little bit. And she said that, you know, they, they, Alec Baldwin's been mean spirited. Well, well we you know can't how Trump do feels about but Alec Baldwin. You, you can't do that. You know, it's sort of like if you're at a restaurant and you want to send the soup back because there's a fly in it, you can't do it when you've already burned down the restaurant. And that's what they've done. They erased all PC lines, but then suddenly apply PC standards to things that the they feel. Yeah, they love that. But they the fact that yeah. they have Steve Bannon as this. Right. Do you think that's going a little far? No. 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 <laughs> I, I wish I thought of it. Can we talk about your policy? Because she you said it. Because, because, ask a comic about going too it's far. It's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we say things to one another we would never say to other people. But, but, but it's the truth. It, it is the truth. That's This is how people see them. If they would take it Not as a learning... Not all people. A lot of people. There are, and enough, enough people that they would 
laugh the most of the audience. Do you audience, think that yeah. this will become a thing? Would Melissa come back? Kind of how oh, we I saw. I hope so. so. She but, was brilliant. But, I cannot believe she and did as laugh. A woman, as a woman, it's even better. For me, it's as a better. woman, it was great. For, yeah. for you, as a woman, did you? Yeah. No, but you know what? The, the thing too is like sort of like <laughs> that. Trump made fun of a disabled reporter. If they tried to do a sketch on SNL, which he denied. They, they well. I think he did it, okay, there. Oh, so he did it, do it, okay, so, so he can it, deny whatever he wants. My point is, suddenly we're applying standards to comedians that we don't apply to the, the most powerful man in the free world. He essentially made fun of a disabled person. If SNL had done that, people would have been fired. Like, so there's well, a line can, that can they just, create when they want to create it, and then they apply standards right. to comedians that they don't apply to elected politicians. And it seems like they're trying to turn the tables. Right. But you know that the, uh, you know, some other people would say that SNL skews left, and you look at what they did with Sarah Palin versus, let's say, the, you know, singing the, the, the solo, the, the ode to, to President Obama the other weekend. I mean... You know, Trump would say it, it's not fair. But, you know, look what they did to Clinton, to Bill Clinton. You know, it skewed right during that period. It's really what is in pop culture, what is on everyone's mind, and what the general, you know, feeling is about what is going on. And they grab that. They grab what is, What is it, do you, you know, think, that she was hilarious like picking huh? out the the power right. cord and the key right. and the moose and the lamb i mean who thought of because, that oh my because, god well, i mean what you so do brilliant. is you he's take, written so well yes. you i mean you look at his first press conference it was 45 minutes no questions were taken and he yelled at the press about right. the pictures of the inauguration that's the tone that they said right so you can't set that tone and then be upset when you pick out all these nuances of him with that high voice and even the jacket, the, the jacket gap. A little too the large. Yeah. Everything was just, perfectly it, done. I mean, the fact she did not crack up. I mean, she I was, I was waiting for her to break, but it is, it's true. Comedy is about the truth. Those little tiny things that, you know, you might not notice. Mm. And then you see it and you're like, oh my God, that's exactly what he does. And it, it, it was brilliant. And it was, yes, it was an exaggeration, mm. and, but, but the, it's based on the truth. And aren't you both concerned he gets upset about an SNL. He gets feelings hurt about an SNL sketch. That's what happens now. He so, like, if North Korea, I mean, that's when you make people your enemy, they don't say nice things about you. So, when North Korea points a missile at us, is I he going to like? I have a feeling that everyone at SNL gathers around and they're waiting. Right. Do you think oh, I'm sure they can't well, they wait. Are. I'm sure they wait till the very last minute to finish the sh writing well, the show. But well, we sure, talked yeah. about this when I was on with you before. Like, you know, the the predominant jokes are about him now because he's been elected. But he gives the funny. You've been in a writer's room. I've been in a writer's room. We don't go in and go, okay, we need to do 40% of the show about Trump, regardless of what sure. it is. Sure. It's what rises to the level that it's the best stuff that you can do. And, and that's the standard. Melissa McCarthy. She's, uh, she's a Brilliant. She's gal. hilarious. Julian yeah. Paul, yeah. So great. great to see you all. Yeah. Uh, as nice always. To see you. Thank you.